Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about my computer, my equipment, um, software, hardware, and all that. So first thing you see is I am working with Cubase for my DAW, my digital audio workstation. Um, there's really no right or wrong when it comes to picking your DAW. You can go with FL Studio, um, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, Studio One, Logic Pro, Reason, whatever. And if it works for you, it's good enough. Now, obviously you're gonna need a computer to work on. If you're just starting out, don't worry too much about this. And once again, if it works for you, it's good enough. It may be a laptop or a desktop, doesn't really matter. My CPU is a Intel i7 6700K. It's, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it does what it needs to do. And that's the most important thing. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's enough for now, but I might upgrade this to 32 or even uh, 64 in the future. Um, if you're starting out, eight or maybe even four gigabytes might be enough, but you're gonna find out that sooner or later, you're gonna need more. Video card, not that important, but it's a GeForce GTX 970. Um, it just does what it needs to do. Now for storage, I have a 500 gigabyte SSD which I use for my operating system and DAW. Then I also have a one terabyte SSD for all my sample libraries. And I also have a two terabyte HDD for all my other stuff like uh, images, videos, games, you know, all that. Now, of course, for music production, you're going to need headphones. My headphones are the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. Um, they're great headphones for its price. So if you're looking for affordable, but also quality headphones, I really suggest checking these out. My studio monitors are the Focal Alpha 65s, which provide me with a high quality, but also a really honest sound. Next up is my microphone. Microphone is the Audio-Technica AT875R. And all of these are connected to my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. So as the name suggests, two inputs and two outputs. And last but not least is my MIDI keyboard, which is a Nectar Impact LX49. And again, it's affordable, but it does what it needs to do. And that's it for this video. Next time, a little timeless video of me making the actual studio. And after that, we can finally get into the music production. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.